Hello and welcome back to Coin Lady channel. Here we are again with your daily dose of cryptocurrency analysis and reporting. We'll be discussing Casper Network today, also known as Casper the Friendly Ghost. The price action is where we should begin our exploration. Casper's price has increased by about 7%, and trading volume has increased by about 116%, in tandem with the market as a whole. There is both positive and negative volume here, but it is thrilling to watch the price action recover so quickly. I've always made a point of noting that the Casper price needs to be above 5.5 cents before I'll consider the price action bullish. The higher low scenario, however, is something I have been keeping an eye on. Higher lows have been made consistently since our June correction. In September, the low point is the highest, in November, it's the highest, and in December, it's the highest again. And it seems like the March low is going to be higher than it has been recently. As a result, I take great pleasure in witnessing this because it shows that progress is being made in erecting the stairway. I always say that I prefer slow price action like this, where we are building a fall going up, because it means that there is more support there for when something happens and we drop down. As a result, we are keeping a close eye on this situation. I purposefully did not have trading you up during this video, but I am looking forward to the subsequent price action. The most bullish aspect of the current price action is our ability to break above 5.5 cents, so that is my only goal. Now that we have that out of the way, let's discuss some of the new developments at Casper Network. So I read the article about this yesterday and am very optimistic about it now. In the first place, this is an official statement that XRP Network will be welcoming Casper Network as a bridge on the network. Casper is also spoiled. The Casper Network is the newest blockchain to fund the network's gateway. We're glad to be a part of Casper's ecosystem and proud of our partnership with them. Don't go anywhere just yet. We're pleased to see that the combination of Casper's robust computing resources and the novel CFP78 standard is helping to bring about the reality of multi-chain NFT bridges. XRP Network, which you should definitely check out, has nearly 40,000 followers and appears to be one of those networks that is rapidly growing. You can get a sense of the scope of their ecosystems by clicking on all categories below. As of late, much attention has been paid to NFT collections. So, for instance, if we go up and click on NFT collections, we can see all of the NFT collections associated with XRP Network, many of which are concentrated on the largest projects currently underway. In addition, many examples of practical applications of the NFT bridge can be found in this section are relatively small outside of the core region of the polygonal web. There are a few more of them over here, too. But I must say, I'm thrilled by this development. In addition, you can get a sense of the scale of things by checking out the Medium post published by XB Network. They've had enough of a taste of the upper levels to conclude that this is where it was. Truth be told, I've already completely passed that point. I'm sorry, but as you can see, they already support around 25 chains. Since Caspier is still in its infancy in terms like the NFT project offering, they're supporting these ecosystems regardless of whether or not they have a large NFT project offering on them. They have, in my opinion. To what end, then, has Caspier's army? The Caspier punks. This is the Caspier NFT market. The term marketplace can also refer to another similar establishment. Medicus is also located below. And last but not least, we have the Casper Tigers. Once again, this is not a massive initial offering, but I anticipate significant expansion in the future. To that end, I couldn't be more thrilled. However, it is Casper's NFT technology that is enticing these other networks to want to establish a connection with it. And the CEP78 standard for NFTS is something called Enhanced NFTS, which, by the way, you should definitely read up on because these are huge. I've discussed how the ability to make smart contracts more flexible in response to emerging needs is altering the future of NFTS. Coins, etc. Minted, etc. Here is the norm for the month of September 1978. Off the shelf, pre-coded modalities that can be used to install NFTS tailored to a given application with minimal effort and no coding required. NFTS can now monitor the status of its associated asset thanks to the increased immutability of on-chain metadata. Meaning what do you think will happen? Upgrades to NFTS eliminate the need for re-minting. 
Numerous games have this feature. You may have heard that your NFT can change as you progress through a game, for instance. There's no need to reissue the NFT or take any other special measures with this. This system is already keeping tabs on that information. The author selected upgrade patterns and weighted key management tangibility modality for documenting whether the NFT represents a physical, digital, or virtual asset can also be observed. Trademark and native whitelist functionality, which, by the way, is a game changer because I don't know if you guys are in the NFT scene, but whitelisting allows NFT authors to restrict the minting of NFTs to a pre-selected group of accounts. To put it simply, it's incredibly difficult. A large number of people have been generating new wallets, then having the whitelist sent to those wallets so that they can begin minting. That's a huge deal, obviously. Everywhere we offer a choice, you have the upper hand. That changes the game significantly. And I do think going forward, and they do mention a few other projects that are already using NFTs, like Casper. The rest are included below. I know we've discussed the friend market before, but I can't contain my enthusiasm. When it comes down to it, I believe that Casper's standards are going to affect a sea change in how NFTs are currently being used. Such like, for me, this is a major development. We also investigate questions such as how businesses might best put upgradable NFTs to work. One of the most original projects that is making use of Casper's immutability is Medicus. In Medicus, you can buy and sell spirits back by tokenized assets on NFTs can be exchanged for physical whiskey casks, which users can then collect, trade and sell. This is obviously very important and related to other matters. These examples are, after all, relatively minor ones. But as they say around these parts, the possibilities are endless for the NFT imagineers and entrepreneurs. To add, I believe that this type of development, where multi-chain is actually being implemented, is a game changer. The XRP network is also convinced of Casper's merits. Casper is creating new standards as we move forward in time, and they don't merely mimic what's already out there in other blockchains. So, let's get down to serious business. In a literal sense, businesses. Where can they apply cryptography? When and how are companies entering this market? Well, here's some evidence from Deloitte that cryptocurrency is gaining traction in the business world. There are a growing number of businesses around the world that are using Bitcoin and other digital assets for a wide variety of investment, operational, and transactional purposes. There is risk, but there is also great reward on the frontier. Dig into the types of inquiries and understandings that businesses should make before deciding whether or not to use digital assets. And now you know why you should think about employing crypto. One estimate from late 2020 suggests that more than 2,300 US businesses accept Bitcoin, this does not even account for Bitcoin ATM. Bitcoin and other digital assets are being used by a growing number of businesses around the world for a wide variety of investment, operational, and transactional purposes. Let's examine the benefits of crypto for businesses below. A few things, at least, right? This can open the door to two additional target audiences. Users may stand in for a more progressive clientele that places a premium on openness in all stages of the buying and selling process. One study found that customers who pay with cryptocurrency are twice as likely to be new customers, and their average order value is twice as high, compared to customers who use credit cards. Cryptocurrency adoption is likely to be slower than adoption of other technologies, so raising awareness of it now may help your company get ahead of the curve. It could also help the company establish itself in this promising new field, which could one day include digital currencies issued by governments, Cryptocurrency has the potential to open up previously inaccessible sources of capital and liquidity, which in turn could free up much-needed working capital. In this channel, we've discussed it extensively through the lens of two new asset classes and the tokenization of two older ones. And they go on to list a plethora of others, but the most noticeable improvement is to the process as a whole. Everything, from the very first step to the very last, will be improved. The craziest part is that this is only the beginning of all of this. This is a topic that has been discussed extensively between us. The impending widespread use of smart contracts in businesses has been the subject of speculation for at least three months. Divi use cases are discussed, as is the increasing interest from businesses to implement this technology. 
This channel has heard me say many times that initiatives like Casper and even Hedera will have humble beginnings. Many businesses have expressed interest in adopting this technology, as you may be aware. In addition, we focus a great deal of our attention on transactional payments and related matters. Another huge one is Diffy Diffy. Given the recent events surrounding CEPI and financial institutions, I believe that Diffy will receive increased attention. In addition, I believe that the assets with the efficiencies that are far greater than those of something like Ethereum will be the ones to succeed as more and more businesses enter this space, eager to make use of this technology. Therefore, Hedera, Casper, etc. will receive more attention, but Ripple will also receive some attention from those who are interested in Ripple news. If you own XRP, you may want to pay attention to Ripple's actions in the cryptocurrency space, as they may affect the value of XRP. Over here, people understand that it's time for crypto to completely revolutionize the financial sector. A time has come to construct a financial system that is more effective, adaptable, and open. Security and privacy with Ripple's blockchain technology innovate financial leaders need to be given the tools to use cryptocurrency to their company's advantage. In light of the current financial system overhaul, it is imperative for businesses to learn what advantages cryptocurrency can offer as soon as possible. And most of these are examples of more general applications, right? Streamline and modernize payment processes is a major goal. The main emphasis lies here. The treasury could be better managed, which would free up cash for other uses. It's enabling improvements across the board in terms of capital. You can increase the flexibility of your assets, strengthen your relationship with your customers, and introduce innovative financial services. To put it simply, it's all happening because of crypto-driven use cases. Of course, commercial concerns are also a priority for Casper. As far as we can tell, Casper Labs is providing useful services to companies all over the world. Take a look at some of the testimonials we've received recently. One IP has just aided them in attracting over 300 new customers in a span of less than four months. When it comes to managing patents for corporations and governments, Casper blockchain is a game changer. By integrating asset-backed NFT technology with auctions and an NFT marketplace, Medicus is moving beyond the scope of traditional NFT use cases. Wiser is using Casper to fuel Wiser, its one-of-a-kind digital identification NFT platform for the collectibles and luxury goods industry, by leveraging Casper's blockchain wikis. Smart cities are expanding upon Casper, an open, permission-based blockchain network developed by Casper Labs for the Chinese city of Chengdu. And I'm sure this isn't even all of them. When we examine many of these, I've mentioned it as well, right? Such instances. I know this sounds like the same old thing, but I need you to know that we're taking baby steps right now. In the beginning, it will only contain a handful of names. It's true, Heydara was there as well. Ads were the only content on Heydara, and I remember that. It was Dax who conducted business on the internet. Today, Heydara is bragging. It's time to conduct some business in Heydara. At present, Heydara is achieving over 700 TPS. They've processed 5.2 billion orders so far. I think they had only reached 5 billion when I heard that. Already, we've processed over 206 million more orders. This was a humble beginning, after all. I can still recall a time when Heydara received zero media attention. Many people, you know, have high expectations of getting rich quickly through these networks. Please keep in mind that these are all still works in progress. These are the networks used by major corporations. There are non-disclosure agreements in place for business names. Expanding and concentrating on the technology that will make these businesses, enterprises, financial institutions, and the like possible is what Casper does best. The motivation to make use of these, the technology. They will prefer to use technology that is constantly developing and improving, such as the zero-knowledge proofs that are currently being introduced to the network. The Casper blockchain's privacy, security, and scalability will all see enhancements as a result. This is exactly the kind of thing we're looking for. Since Casper is already so much more efficient than competing protocols, developments like these are welcome on Casper's network. Nonetheless, with these enhancements, it will be on par with much larger networks. 
I have a lot of faith in Casper because of the team's dedication to constant innovation, constant construction, and constant updates. Though there is one thing I would really like to witness. Is it because more use cases are being implemented? Okay, got it. I know. Once we get back there. You should know that Casper just tweeted something. Yes, these are the same use cases we've been discussing for quite some time. But I do believe this will change again, header is always on my mind. As usual, I bring up my other work. I can recall when Polygon first gained some notoriety. Everyone paid it no mind. As far as they were concerned, it was irrelevant, so they said. You can put it either here or there, either way, it's going somewhere. The message was disregarded. Just like that, boom, it goes off with a vengeance. Graph experienced the same thing. When Graph was first released, it was met with some resistance. To be honest, nobody gave a hoot. One of the largest projects in the area always seems to go boom right when it seems like things are settling down. Never forget that I occasionally step back and examine Ethereum. Once upon a time, there wasn't even much of a chance to construct anything on Ethereum. After a lull of a few years, everything goes off the rails. It's a massive undertaking, accounting for the vast majority of the DeFi market cap. In addition, I always warn that it will take a while. The development of Casper is still in its infancy. I would almost say that these networks have not yet fully launched and are still in beta. And the only reason I say they haven't fully launched is because we're still in the early days of these networks and the industry as a whole. Just about every major corporation, in my opinion, will eventually adopt this technology. I think even Fortune 500 companies like Deloitte are starting to catch on to this. The majority of the kinks in modern life could be ironed out using DLT technology and digital assets, I believe. Keeping all that in mind, I pray you found this video entertaining. Please leave a like and turn on notifications if you want to see the news. See you later, bye.